Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create a personal document template you store on your computer for documents you frequently create and only need to change slightly between copies. For example, if you had to send a boilerplate response letter to customers for product inquiries, you could create the document and indicate where to place the customized information in the letter. You could then save the document as a personal document template from which you can create quick copies in the future to which you only need to send the customized response. However, before you can create personal templates, you must ensure Word has a default personal templates location defined in its save options. This is the folder location within which Word saves your personal templates and within which it looks for personal templates by default. If you upgraded to Office 365 from a previous version, you may not have this location specified. However, you can manually specify this location in all your Office apps to ensure that Word and other Office apps know where to look for previous personal templates you created and also where to save future ones. To specify the default personal templates location in Word after upgrading your Office installation, type percent app data percent backslash Microsoft backslash templates backslash into the Ask Me Anything bar in Cortana if using Windows 10, then press the Enter key on your keyboard. If using an older version of Windows, instead click the Start button, select the Run command, and then type it into the Open dialog box before pressing the Enter key. Either way, Windows will then open the previous default save location for templates from the previous Office installation in a File Explorer window. Click into the address bar within this window to select the address, then right-click it and choose the Copy command from the pop-up menu that appears to copy it. Next, open Word. Then click the File tab in the ribbon. Then click the Options command at the left side of the Backstage view to open the Word Options dialog box. Then click the Save option at the left side of the Word Options dialog box. Next, right-click into the Default Personal Templates Location field that appears to the right at the bottom of the Save Documents section. Then select the Paste command from the pop-up menu that appears to paste the folder location you copied from the address bar of the File Explorer window earlier. Then click the OK button at the bottom of the Word Options dialog box to set the new location. You can also repeat this for other Office applications like Excel and PowerPoint if needed. To then create a personal template, first create a document that you want to save as a template and make sure to indicate where to place the customized information within the document. Then click the File tab in the ribbon. Then click the Save As command at the left side of the Backstage view. Then click the This PC command to the right. Then click the Browse button below that to open the Save As dialog box. In the Save As dialog box, type a name for the template into the File Name field. Then use the Save As Type drop-down to select Word Template. Word then changes the default folder into which it saves the template to match the folder you entered as the default personal templates location in the Word Options dialog box. To more easily access this template in the future, do not change this folder save location. Next. Click the Save button in the Save As dialog box to save the template into the folder. You can then close the opened template document. To later create a new copy of that document from the template, click the File tab in the ribbon. Then click the New command at the left side of the Backstage view. Then click the new Personal Template category that appears above the suggested searches and to the right of the term Office to view your personal templates in the list below. In older versions of Word, the Personal category instead appears below the suggested searches and to the right of the term Featured, but it is roughly in the same location in all versions of Word. Then click the name of the desired personal template to create a new copy of a document from that template, which you can then edit as needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.